our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, Presenting the challenger, the cannon. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Out of range with that one. Lands a big right hand early. Separate. That was a cutting leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Way to hide that leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And that punch no good. We'll see if he can follow up. And there comes the separation now. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big leg kick lands. Another big leg kick lands. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. 
We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. How good is that right hand? Ten seconds. Oh! Some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. There by Lee. Big punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He blocks the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Visibly limping here. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Good punch land. Nice leg kick land. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Whoa! He's a club. He's hurt bad. Diving punch lands. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, your hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Okay. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. USA! 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 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he man. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this championship round. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. For my money, this is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, <laughs> not letting anybody in. He's not trying to 